Hello and welcome to this hands-on lab, which is a continuation to the previous session. Now, let us increase the number of instances and see what happens here. Okay. Great. And now we need to come to instance management and see what are the various stages that auto scaling group can bring an ec2 instance to so ideally if everything has gone right correct then as soon as they are launched they will be in pending status then pending wait status and then transition status and then in service status so these are the statuses. It may take some time, but this is a very important place to be if you actually want to observe the behavior and learn, right? Pending. So from pending to pending wait will happen very soon. In the meantime, let me quickly talk about why do we have PM2 here, okay? And then we'll keep refreshing this so when we issue the command node app.js it in a way sorts of hijacks the command line you cannot issue any other command after that okay a pause on that concept pending wait has happened here okay so from pending to pending wait so coming back to pm2 so it sorts of makes it impossible to issue any other command unless you come out of this command that you have already issued in a way you need to stop the server right but that will stop your application so pm2 offers you that facility by which your server is always up and running. We already have gone through this in our node session. Now, why do we need it here? Because if it had been node app.js, then everything after that would not have worked. And I've just used sleep of 10 seconds so that I can ensure that everything has been completed before we extract the instance ID and issue these two commands. All right. And not to use PM2, I have installed an update here. Ideally, it should have worked by now. Let me see first of all that the instance has application deployed or not. See, the world is not perfect. So it's okay to make mistakes, right? But yeah, so application is up. But hmm, what could be wrong? Let us quickly because we do not have a lot of time. Log in into this, and has it already been? Is it terminating? No, it is not. Then what happened? Any which ways. Okay. Great. The application is there and it is up and running as well. Yep. Both the pages. I'm just hurrying up a bit. So why don't we manually issue the command? Okay. First let us find the instance id which is this so using this instance id let us issue the command to continue Hmm. 
This was the problem. Access denied. When calling the complete lifecycle action operation, user assumed role EC2 S3 full access is not authorized to perform auto scaling complete lifecycle action. This API action call is not allowed on this resource. So, what do we need to do? And this also means that it will terminate after a while. In the meantime, why don't we go ahead and open up IAM because we need to add more permission to our EC2 role. Yes. So the EC2 role that is applicable as of now is EC2 has three full access and it appears that we need additional permission and that is related to auto scaling although i exactly know which api call in fact you also know but to make things simpler let us go ahead and grant it auto scaling group full access although this is not a good practice we're just trying to simplify things here okay auto scaling auto scaling full access great attach policy attach policies no that's okay we have already done so we're done so now our role has auto scaling full access which should also include this particular API call, complete lifecycle action. Okay. And has it started terminating? Oh, it has already terminated. Yep. Oh, sorry, I was looking at the wrong window. This was for the previous one. Okay. I need to X out of here. Good. So it is still in pending wait, and very soon it will. Okay. So, yes, it has actually terminated, and now a new one has most probably started coming up while we were doing IAM activity. So, close this. I don't think this instance even exists. Let us check terminated, yes. So the instance we were in has been terminated and a new instance has been created. And we do not know if this new instance was created after we modified the rule or not. So let us do something like this. Let us first ensure that all the instances has been have been terminated okay so even this instance will be terminated now so when all these instances will be right now it's only one so when this instance will be terminated we will again edit it and make the number of instances as one and then we will see as to what happens Oh, so that had worked. It is in service, you see. It is in service, but now it will be deleted. But that is the concept proof as well as hands on lab proof you have. The problem was our EC2 instance did not have sufficient privileges, the role did not have access to call that API. This API I'm talking about, which is a part of AWS Auto Scaling Complete Lifecycle Action API, which is a part of AWS Auto Scaling. So we modified the role to have that permission. And then that in this instance was launched, and hence it changed its status from pending to pending wait to transition and then to in service, although it should be terminated by now. Yes, it is terminated. 
let us go to instances. Terminated. Now we will edit and make it as why do we make it as one? Let us make it as three. Right. And let us see if all these three EC2 instances have the application deployed successfully. That will be a nice thing to see. And then I'll, I'll pause the video because otherwise the length of the video will be longer than what we would want it to be. But please keep looking at this location. Pending, pending wait, and then the status that I always keep forgetting, something related to, to transition or something, and then in service. All right. So I am pausing the video and I'll resume as soon as there is a state change. Okay, so in service, in service, and third one is pending wait. I'm just trying to see the elusive, yeah, proceed. It, it had pending proceed. So pending, pending wait, pending proceed, and then in service. So you have these three EC2 instances. And if you want to check if you have the application up and running on all of them. Go ahead. There you go. And on this one, yep. And last one. That's great. So I'll see you in the next lab session wherein we will add load balancer to this existing architecture. Thank you and looking forward to seeing you in the next session.